Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator Rome where uh, this happened at the tail end of last episode. Apparently, we have a child with someone who is not our wife. Excellent. This is uh, completely ideal. Uh huh. That's a bad idea. <laughs> That's a bad idea. So we would lose money and legitimacy. Our consort would gain loyalty, but she's already maxed. Or we could just make her disappear and lose half as much money. We would gain tyranny, but we are losing tyranny relatively quickly. And we'd only lose two legitimacy. Our legitimacy is increasing. I think we go for this. Just make it go away. That never happened. I don't know what you're talking about. What could possibly go wrong? Anyway, we were working on getting some of our cities re-specialized. So that's perfect. Now, Durai over here is going to be done constructing very soon. And we're also going to have this library because we're respecking our capital into a research city since it produces papyrus. I don't know why I made it be a manpower city anyway, but uh, it should definitely be a research city. There's no doubt about that. So we need to swap this on over, but Durai is going to be finishing up, and the top priority here is definitely going to be getting at least a level 1 fort in Durai. Now this is already a Borderlands, so that'll be perfect. That only costs 37, so that'll be fine. And over here, we're going to want to get rid of this forum as soon as this is done. We're going to do it now, actually, and queue up another one. There we go. Perfect. And then we're going to replace these three training camps, of course, with three academies. Excellent. And any excess money is going to be going towards purchasing inventions, of which we need quite a few. We've uh, kind of fallen behind on that front because we've been putting so much money into upgrading our various locations. And we have a lot of cities right now that we can work on, which is why I'm not too keen on getting a bunch of these upgraded. This fort here can actually be removed, as can this fort. Are you taking attrition here? No. Okay. This fort can also go away. This is a city, but it does not need a fort. We don't need a fort in Yeha either, so let's get rid of that. This is a very messy city. Okay, we're going to have to work on this. <laughs> There's no doubt about that one. So we don't need forts in any of those locations. We will keep the fort in Aduli for right now. And ooh, that needs some work. Okay, so the Sabin army needs a new commander. We don't have any scorned families, so we just go for the best guy. Get drilling. Okay, so we're going to be banking manpower for a while. I do want to go up to six total armies of 20k each. However, that's not going to be until after we hit 20k manpower, and I'll queue them up relatively quickly. I do not want to be in negative manpower if a loot declares war on us or whatever. That would be a bad thing, TM. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and actually get rid of all of these forums. And we're just going to queue up libraries for them. There's still one more for them. There we go. We're going to keep the three training camps until that's done, though. Because we're still going to be getting a pretty good boost from our manpower. Or for our manpower, rather. Not from our manpower. But a lot of these cities do definitely need work. There's no doubt about that. I would like to upgrade this to a city, but I'd also like to spend the money on inventions. And I feel like inventions are maybe a better investment right now, just because we've got so many cities that aren't exactly ready to go. Like, for example, here, this city here, we have no buildings. We produce furs. That's not super useful. I feel like let's make this into a research city. So let's go ahead and build a pair of libraries. 
And then we'll build one academy. New military structure. This is the General of the Sabin Army. He'll gain a military skill. Up to 50% of his troops will become loyal. That's this guy that we just put in charge of this army. He is 17. That's a yikes. His loyalty is going up. Okay. How about you don't do that? Is that okay? I think that's okay. That should theoretically be fine. Now, I do want to get us at least one academy here. And I think that when we have a, uh, a product that we produce that's like this, that is just um, something that we don't really care about, like furs, I think we go ahead and do either taxes, which will produce more of that type, or... Oh, hello. Earthenware also increases research points, but it's not as good as papyrus, right? Yeah, it's not as good as papyrus. So we either produce taxes or research or, or manpower would be fine, actually. We can just kind of do whatever we feel like we need most at the time. And right now I feel like we need some research. We've got some taxes coming in up over in this direction over here. So that'll be good. The question is, are these guys thinking about attacking us? They do have manpower. 65 cohorts, they have money. A petitioner approaches, huh? Okay, so this is the, the event where he's trying to give us stuff for protection. Yeah, we'll protect you. And I'll spend that immediately on Marine Auxilia. Not like we need it, but it's free money, so we'll just do that. Excellent. Okay. So let's see what's going on over here. We've still got a few more libraries coming in, so that's fine. Over here we're going to have an academy on the way. Let's get ourselves... What is our citizen ideal fraction going to be here? I feel like it's not high enough. We need more libraries. I really feel like for these specialized cities, about five of the ideal fraction increasers, that's about right. At least for now. And then beyond that, we stack up the multiplier building. Something along those lines, anyway. Hey! Support my air, you jerk. Thank you. Are you gonna support my air? I hope he supports my air. Okay, so all of our armies are currently drilling. We've got 10,000 manpower in the bank, and we are making 374 per month currently. So that's honestly super excellent. Very happy about this. But we do have a large deficit of just cash right now. There's so much that we can be pouring cash into to give us bonuses. And I really feel like we need to do that before we fall too far behind a loot here. Like, they're probably technologically advanced from us, especially considering they have access to iron. So that's a thing. Local citizen output for spices? Oh my. Okay. Can we import spices here? Do we have access to spices? We could import earthenware. Um, that might not be a bad idea. That's Freeman output. Interesting. Research points and Freeman output. Kind of bizarre, but okay, whatever. I guess we'll take it. Our research ratio is, of course, getting better, so that's good. We're at four out of four there. So I think the next thing we get is another invention. 
Starting experience, naval range, build cost reduction. That might not be a terrible idea. We're doing a fair amount of building. Tribesman output. We probably want to get that relatively early while we still have a bunch of settlements, right? Because tribesmen are not good at cities. Maybe we get this immediately. Tribute income, we don't have tribute. I would love month monthly civilization change, national manpower. But I feel like because... We're going to have tribesmen going away throughout the game. I feel like we go for land tithe. Okay. Fantastic. Capital import routes. Okay. I mean, there are a lot of good bonuses in there that we can get. We just need to have the money. And we are currently making 24 per month, so that's not too awful. course we're finishing up our final library over here right now so we should probably go ahead and start getting rid of these training camps and start building academies i'm going to only do this one at a time i want to be maintaining these as long as possible because that is more efficient this fort up here is going to be done soon we should queue up another one those do take a long time to build, so that'll be fine. They're going to have a hard time pushing past this, though. There's no doubt about that. Level 4 fort in both of these provinces. We can call down an omen, and we're definitely going for Oratalt. More taxes. Yeah, the difference between Oratalt and not Oratalt is like 10 gold per month. Compare that to the uh, manpower gains and... It just kind of doesn't compare. Do we need this fort in Olbia? I feel like we kind of do. And can we colonize over here? Not yet. Okay, we're still working on it. Now we are doing religious conversion over here. That's fine. They're mostly comedic. Which is a little unfortunate. Low food supply in Hadramut Orientalis. Which is, of course, over here. Let's go ahead and import some fish. There we go. Hopefully that'll help. Maybe. We'll see what happens in this next month tick. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. That's perfect. Okay, our general of the Axumite army just died. I'm okay with this. We'll put in our best general since we have no scorned families right now. And we'll just get him drilling. Keep that experience high. Excellent. Whoa. Oh, that's spicy. Who's Egypt fighting? Not Mayin. Phrygia and the Seleucid Empire and Armenia. And they're sending boats around Arabia to attack the Seleucid Empire. Okay, that is going to be a spicy war. Have fun with that, Egypt. Who's the aggressor in that, even? Uh, let's see here. Oh, they're just participating in the Phrygian Civil War. Okay, I see curiosity. Would you be upset if I threatened war with you? I have no CB on them. Fair enough. And I don't want to make one just yet. I, I don't want to make them angry. I feel like that would be a tactical error <laughs> right now. We'll build another academy here. Now, we do have a researcher who's disloyal, but I don't care. Why would I care about a disloyal researcher? That's amusing. I think I'm going to go ahead and rename this from the Katabian army to the... the Hadramut. How do I spell that? Like that. The Hadramut army. And then we'll make a new Katabian army over here later on. 
I still want to continue banking up manpower, but I definitely want two more armies, and we're about halfway there in terms of manpower, but I just don't want to spend the gold on it right now. We're fine banking the manpower. I'd rather spend the gold on cities and techs. Speaking of which, we're about to get, on this next month tick, another invention. And which one do we want to go for? Build cost reduction? That will ultimately help our income. Civilization level might be good too. Hello, we're going to get some money. Thank you. I will take that money. Let's go for the build cost reduction, which will give us additional money over time. King of Axum is offering friendship. Yes, please. Sounds great. Well, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and we are, in the next episode, going to continue working on our plan to take out a loot, or more, more specifically, to take this one province. <laughs> See you all next time.